So now we can load our images and the next step is to design the game field. For that we separate the panel into a grid and the grid, the border or the grids outside of the panel will be black and inside these panels the snake can move. The snake can move only inside these grips. The snake can only move vertical or horizontal. So that we can preparate our panel in the, in the game, we have to open our script, our game behavior script. And I create two fields. The first is a public game object and I call this field the panel. This would be the, the field for, for the panel for our game. And then we need a public image. And this image, I call this image image prefab, would be our prefab, what we have to use. We see that the image is unknown. So we have to use the UI engine, the unity engine dot UI using. Don't forget to save your script. Now in Unity I can click on my panel so that the panel is visible on in the inspector and with drag and drop I add this panel into my panel place and the image prefab, what we have in our prefabs folder, I also insert it with drag and drop. So the next step is in our panel inside the inspector. We have to set inside the rect transform the anchor presence to middle center. Now we see that the width and the height is the same size than our display. The next step is to open the script and to create a method. I call this method private void create grid layout and now when we look into this picture here we see that we have 10 grids in our x-axis and 10 grids in our y-axis so I need the width and the the length of, of my panel to separate it into the grid layout. For that I use width is panel, that's our game panel, dot get component and I need the rect transform. And the rect transform has the size delta dot x field and the x is our x axis from the panel so i copy this i call this the height and the height is the y axis as a next step i want to instantiate my pictures in the game panel. To instantiate a picture in our panel I use the method instantiate. In the brackets I say it is the type image and as an argument this method takes the game object, the type of the game object and the parent object is our panel.transform. This method returns me the instance of the game object so I call this variable instance and this instance 
or this picture needs a sprite and we know that our sprite sprites dictionary here contains our free sprites for the game so I say instance dot sprite is underlined sprites and we used as the key for our sprites the name of the pictures so if we look in unity inside the resource or uh, folder we see this picture here calls head so I use here the name head now I save the script I go back to unity and start the game nothing happens this is because I didn't call this method here in my start method so I save the script I go back to unity and I start the game and we see I have here in my scene the image prefab with the size 100 and 100. This size is based on the prefab. Now we want to change the size. For that we go back to the script. To change the size of our image object we can use from our instance here the getComponent method to access direct transform and the rect transform method because uh, the rect transform contains the size delta and the size delta has the uh, getter and setter properties so we can set or read the size delta and the size delta is a vector 2 so to set the size we can use here the size delta to create a new vector 2 and the vector 2 takes two arguments the width and the he and the height we have here the width and the height of our game panel and we said that we have 10 objects in the x-axis and 10 objects in the y-axis so I use here width divided by 10 for the width of my picture and height divided by 10 for the height of my picture. So I save this script, I go into Unity and start the game. Now we see that this picture is smaller and the size is 50 the width is 50 and the height is 50 so that works as a next step I want to change the position of my image so for that I use the instance here get component method and I need also the transform object and inside this transform object I use the position field and the position field it has also getter and setter from type vector free but I can also use here the vector 2 to set the position in a 2d space and for the position I use also here the width and the height from my game panel and say the width divided by 2 and the height divided also by 2. So I save the script, go back to Unity and start the game. Now we see the picture is in the middle of the plane. If I go back to my script and say the vector is my width and my he, I save the script and now I start the game. 
we see that the picture is on the top right corner. The next step is that our picture starts in this left bottom corner here. For that I go to the script and set here my position to 0 and here the position to 0. So I save the script, go to Unity and start the game. We see that I see the half of the picture in this corner here. So to see the whole picture I don't have to use the 0, 0 position, I have to I have to add the half of the width and the height of my picture into this vector. So we see that the size of my picture is the width of the panel divided by 10. So I need here the half of my width from the picture and I also use the half of my height from the picture. So I save this script, go back to Unity and start the game. And now we see that the picture is in the left bottom corner. That's our start position. In the next video we insert into this panel all grids what we have in our game.